Welcome to Flyers TV. I'm delighted to say that today we have our imports, Matt Sedal and Mike Hamilton, to give us an insight in their time in Kirkcaldy. Matt, Mike, thanks for joining us this morning. Um, you're both, your careers have sort of run similar paths over the years, especially like pro level. You're both born in British Columbia, uh, a year apart. I'm not going to say which one's the oldest. <laughs> I'll leave the fans to guess that one. Did Before you started playing pro hockey, did you know each other? Um, yeah, yeah, we had uh, met a couple times prior to that, just through development camps in Atlanta, and then played <coughs> junior against each other a little bit and stuff. So we were kind of aware of each other and had met a few times before we actually played together. Yeah, yeah well, we we were both drafted by the Thrashers, so uh, we played. Yeah, we did a couple summer camps, and then we ended up in Chicago together, and uh, we were both living out of a hotel for probably about five or six weeks so we uh, got to know each other a bit better then and then the next year we ended up in Victoria playing some more hockey together so uh, after that we kind of got to know each other a bit better and kept in touch and have been you know fairly close since. At Victoria of course you played uh, under a Flyers legend uh, Mark Morrison how did you find him? Yeah, it was a great good, guy. Good yeah. guy, yeah. Mo's uh, a character. You see what you sure. like. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> easy, very easy guy to play with, and uh, you know, a really a nice, a player's coach, a good guy. So uh, when your coach is, is someone like that, it's it's pretty makes it pretty easy. And he was running a, a pretty good team and a pretty good organization in Victoria. There, uh, quite professional, and it was mm -hmm. always uh, you know it was one of the top places to play in that league. And so it was a, it was a pleasure to play in Victoria for sure. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, you've been in Scotland for two or three months now. What do you think? What's your first impressions of the country? It's different. It's yeah, totally it's different, different from home. It's but different, yeah. but it's, it's similar it's at the though, same yeah. time. Yeah, a lot of yeah. fun. I mean, yeah. just, uh, you know, we have some time off. We have got into Edinburgh and uh, uh, we've gone on a couple trips and stuff, but just kind of hanging out and trying to stay out of trouble. Yeah. You're both golfers. Yeah. One, I think around about the 12 handicap or 11 handicap, is that right? Yeah, around uh, there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. on a good day. So who's the best between us? Hammy's pretty good. We played a lot this Saturdays, summer. Though. But yeah, but Hammy's a bit more consistent for sure. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I played a lot of golf in, in, the, uh, in the summer, in the off season, and just kind of have some fun. And yeah, we were able to get out a couple times, and so... Hopefully, uh, before it gets too cold, we can sneak a few more in, and before we go home, we well, might I've be able to jump to St. Andrews. Both of you in St. Andrews, so yeah. about the yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get we'll that done we'll before we do that. It's on air now, it's official, so <laughs> yeah, no we'll make sure you enjoy that. Um, Scotland, uh, when, when, when you were asked to come to the Flyers, or to Scotland, was did the golf play any part in that? I mean, what I mean by that is that you're here to play hockey, obviously. Yeah. But things like that, do you sort of look at the country and think, well, you know, it's a home of golf, we could maybe get a few games of golf there, or is it just purely a, a hockey decision? It's, it's mostly a hockey decision, but there's definitely other factors that come into play, like your surroundings and stuff like that. Yeah. So, mm. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> say that I didn't think about it, but it definitely wasn't a make or break yeah, in yeah, my yeah. decision, you know, but at the same time, it's a huge positive and there's a lot of tradition with yeah. golf around here and it's yeah. kind of something that we'd like to partake in. What's your first impressions of the standard of the, the league over here? Uh, is it surprised you? Is it better? Or? Um, well, I mean, not not as better. I think that, you know, you see that there's some good hockey players that are coming from North America coming over to this league. Uh, there's a lot of good opportunities. There's an appeal uh, to come and play in Europe and in English speaking and in a league that caters to a bit older guys. And it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. So. I think the caliber, I mean, wasn't too surprised. Like, there were some good hockey players over. Um, I think that a little bit more surprised with some of the top-end teams, how uh, well and, you know, how confident of clubs they are. They, they uh, have everything down pretty well, and they're pretty much, you know, being run like a pretty, uh, a pretty strong uh, professional organization would be in North America. So that surprised me a bit with, with how much their depth is. And, and really, the, the level of most of the... Uh, British players. I mean, there's some teams that, you know, you can hardly really tell who's a Brit and who's an import. I was uh, impressed with uh, how many how many British British hockey players were were a lot better than I assumed, and yeah. so I think that was one of the biggest things that surprised me. It's a learning curve, curve for us here. It's our first season. It's always going to be difficult. We've been in the hockey wilderness, if that's the correct phrase, for the last three or four years, and to suddenly be launched in. Um, to the uh, professional ranks was a bit of a, a an eye opener for us. But 
But things are all right. Yeah, we know that. We've, we need more guys in. And that's that. We're looking to, to hopefully that starts next week. Um, do you still think if we get these guys in, we can qualify for the playoff spot? Oh yeah, I do. I, I do I, for I, sure. Yeah. yeah uh, I mean, I think that you know we've had some good games this year and we've been close. Mm-hmm. And I mean, with a little bit more depth both on defense and up front, I think it could make a huge difference and could turn some of those 3-2, 4-2 losses maybe into a, an overtime win or a win and at home especially. So mm-hmm. I think there could be some huge potential there. Yeah, I, I was in a similar position last year because Dundee were in their first um, season and they turned it around about this time, in fact. And they managed to qualify for the playoffs. In fact, against Sheffield, I thought they were unlucky not to... to to, to, to run them a lot closer than they did, unlucky rather. Um, so th- there's there's definitely hope. I, I've been impressed with the attitude of the players. Um, you guys, you never give up. You, you play a lot more ice time than I bet you thought you were going to play when you came here. Um, how how's that affecting you? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you don't want to you don't want to say you're playing too much, but. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, it's it's a lot of hockey to play on on a big ice surface, and uh, and um, but you know that's kind of what we're here to do is we're here to play and we're here to perform. So you know, a lot of that um, pressure comes on our shoulders, which is you know something that uh, we we we're, we're looking for and we want, and you know we ha- hold ourselves to a high standard, and we want to be able to be the players that go out and help this team have success. <laughs> and um, you know, are we being pushed a little bit? To the max that, that yeah we are and, and some help will really make a difference and our minutes will become a bit more quality mm-hmm. when they have to be but I think that still that's no excuse for you know us not coming out and playing hard and and uh, you know putting our best foot forward you know when we're playing especially when we're playing at home yeah I think uh, the fans definitely appreciate what you do here and they're a great set of fans here um, they're loud when I speak to a few um, of the the imports when they first come over here, there's two things that they they say that they, it's t- kind of they don't have in in, in North America is a the chants and the noise and, and yeah. the fans yeah and the second thing is the size of the ice pad it's a bit bigger over here yeah yeah and definitely how do you find that I think that's yeah that's definitely been a bit of a a bit of uh, something to adapt to is the size of the ice is learning how to use your ice and where to save you know save your skating because. Uh, you know, it's a long ways up and down and across. But um, I think that, you know, it just gives you a bit more time and you can be a bit more creative and, and you know, you can get pucks on net and have that that second, uh, that extra second to make a play. Yeah. Now, Kirkcaldy's not Las Vegas. I'm not going to change you on it. <laughs> How are you settling in here? What do you think of this, the, the time? Uh, it's been good so far. Yeah. I think we're settled in fine and, you know, the time adjustment stuff's not a big deal anymore. And mm-hmm. We're getting to know the area and the surroundings and we've been able to go out and do a few things and met some nice people and we're kind of been welcomed with open arms so yeah. in that in that sense we've been settling in great i, I think that's true about the fans i mean they they, they will welcome you because you, you guys are playing 110 percent every week and and that's all they ask at this stage yeah. you know so uh, um you live together yeah who's the tidiest hammy for sure oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Are you a bit of a, a I'm not like a mess, but like Hammy will go in and like do like a thorough kitchen clean. Yeah. And then I'll be kind of like, oh no, like I should have done something. <laughs> yeah. So maybe I'll come in and just like put the dishwasher away, like clean up a little bit. Like, <laughs> but like, he'll, him. yeah, he'll kind of like take the first step and then like won't say anything. But I know it's like, you know, you got to be a decent roommate and do something. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think he's a bit more like consistent with his. Pretty much as overall, he's just more consistent than yeah. I am at most things. Mike the like is like quite handy in the kitchen as well. A good chef, I believe. Uh, a little bit, yeah. yeah we we both like to cook, so, yeah. a cook so we eat a lot at home, and yeah. we're kind of you know have the boys over every once in a while for yeah. a meal. So do a meal here and there. And I believe Ronnie has been supplying with some nice scallops. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he tossed us some scallops last week, and we uh, we brought Fowley over, and we had a little meal uh, before practice. So yeah, they're pretty good Scottish yeah, delicacy. Good. Yeah, good. Well, I appreciate you taking your time out to talk to us. It's been no it's nice to give the fans an insight to what you're feeling. Look, you're, you're doing a great job, the two of you. Well, all the imports are, I've got to say. Um, just keep your chins up because there is help on the way mm-hmm. and I'm sure we'll qualify for the playoffs. And then after that, Gross. it's the one-off games. You never yeah. know what might yeah, happen. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks yeah. very much. It's yeah, really no great to have you Anytime. guys. Thank you. Take care.